Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a custom email from your Bluehost domain. So what we're looking at here is your Bluehost domain cPanel or control panel. And what we're going to do is go ahead and click on this email manager because you already have a domain and you want to be able to use this domain to send emails for email marketing. You don't want to be sending emails from joe six pack at gmail.com right you don't want to be doing that so instead we would want joe at your domain name dot com for example okay so you already have your domain name i'm just going to show you how to add that joe in front of the at symbol okay so let's get started here let me click on email manager all right once you're on the screen go ahead and click the create an email account button and from here you're going to go ahead and select your domain name so this you already have you just recently bought or it's just already exists in your account so go ahead and click the drop down menu and and choose your domain name and then here in this field what you're going to want to do is enter your author name or your professional business name whatever that is this could be quote unquote admin okay so that's a hundred percent up to you so for this example I just typed in admin and I'm gonna create an email account called admin at freedomboundbusiness.com and I'm just gonna go ahead and click a generate password just to make it super easy if you wanted to see the actual password you would actually just go ahead and click this I button of course I'm not gonna do that for obvious reasons here and the next step here is just to go ahead and select the 250 megabytes. You can always change this, but I usually just set this as default and then click the create button. All right, so now you have your sending email address for email marketing. So this is the domain that you're gonna be using to send emails as an online marketer. And to access the inbox for this email sending domain, all you would do is go ahead and click view inbox. So remember the password we created just a few moments ago, this is what you would put in here and you would click log in. Once you log in, you'll see three different options on how you can access your inbox. Just pick one, it doesn't really matter. From there, you can see what arrives in your inbox. So this is one way of checking your emails that go to this sender email address. Let me show you one other quick way before I wrap up this video. All right, so we're back on this page. It should look familiar, except this time we're on the forwarding tab on this page and what you're going to do here is click the add email forwarder button and go ahead and select the domain name and what you titled it so this could be admin or joe or whatever you called it and then have this bubble selected here forward this to address and here's where i would put my personal gmail address for example and click on submit now the reason i'm telling you this option and the previous option is because when you integrate your sending email address to say ConvertKit or GetResponse, they're going to want to communicate with your sending email address before you can start sending any emails. And you'll probably have to confirm some things with, with a link. I forgot, I've done it uh, a long time ago. But you're going to want access to your sending email addresses inbox. So anyways, I hope this was helpful. I will see you in the next video.